Agile is about culture. I don't like to use the A word very much these days because some companies have got a preconception. We tried it, it didn't work. Okay, it didn't work in your context because you tried it wrong. Welcome uh, to 20 Stories and the first CXO dinner that we have of this year. The first of four, we'll do these every single quarter and it'd be great to see you and others are with us as we continue to go. First point to probably make is when we talk about business agility and driving change, we're actually talking about the same thing. Having a, a focus on customer outcomes and, and value uh, versus outputs and solutions, and we'll get into that a little bit and what that really means. If you've got that focus, then you know, how do you organise around that? You know, how do you organise your people and motivate your people to deliver around outcomes versus outputs? The, the client of ours that we, we worked with, in 90 days, increased their CSAT by 40%. In 90 days. Also, that team, when measured, had employee engagement numbers 30% higher than the rest of the organisation. They also fixed so many things that were causing Ofgem to uh, fine them, they removed £1.3 million worth a year of fines. Once you've aligned to a vision, uh, to a vision that everybody can actually see and there's an outcome associated with that, how do you then cascade that down to the activity level, to your projects? You know, we're all conditioned to deliver you know, when we've got all our ducks in the line and get everything right and then press a button and then it's all sort of big bang. But actually when it comes to this stuff, big bang may not be appropriate. 